Hi guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today I'm going to be potting up some succulents and opening a subscriber gift. So, um, super excited. Let's get to it, guys. I want you to be able to see down. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be potting up the plants that the cuttings that Aaron sent to me. I already filled this halfway up. First I put the um screen the little piece of screen sorry it's super hot and it makes me like I put a piece of uh, screen in the bottom so that the whole um the soil wouldn't fall through the hole and I'm going to use some of this horticultural charcoal um, one of my subscribers gave me a great tip I was putting it towards the bottom of the um, pot because I didn't want it to float up to the top and I because I hate the way it does that like perlite where it um, floats to the top when you water and then basically lose it but she she said that I should put it towards the middle of the pot which makes so much sense because it's closer to the root and that's where you want it to kind of have beneficial um uses you know of um of um i always have to read them because i forget to improve drainage absorb harmful impurities and encourage air circulation and blah 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 help with the root so i'm going to put like just a layer a little bit above the halfway point. Then I'm going to fill it up with some more nice soil mixture. I'm going to add a little more turf because I added more soil in there because I felt like it was a little too um, dry the mixture. So I'm just going to add a little more surface. Or a lot more surface. Sounded like more than what it was. And this is a heavy planter. So, this is going to take me quite a bit to move it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to pretty much fill it to the top. Because these are cuttings and I'm going to put them right in there. Right. And this is a, she put these cute little tags on them. I wonder if I can keep it on there. Uh, Echeveria First Lady. My scissors. I figured I needed a bigger pot because these heads are huge. Somebody's texting me. And I think it might have been that. And this is the Echeveria Red Ruffles. I hope you can hear me because the camera's quite a bit away. And I need to invest in a mic. Oh wait, this is two. What? It had two little labels on it. But they both said the same thing, which are very red ruffles. This is a variegated 
gold tooth aloe. I love these guys. I don't. I, I, she didn't give me the name of them, but I love them. <sighs> Can't quite see what I'm doing, so I hope I'm doing a good job. Maybe I should stand, but then my whole head will be chopped off. Put the larger ones first. This is a Itcheraria Moon Glow. This one is, sorry, in a terraria six senses. Chiveria Mensa. It's probably going to be one of my quickest pottings. I'm gonna get up so I can see what's going here. Okay. I love these guys. So cute. I need a little more soil there. This one kind of lifts it. What I do?
I'm gonna pause it. Is it recording? I can't see. Uh, it is. Okay. So I'm gonna pull from this other Erin pot that I made. Everything's growing in there beautifully. This I love, Erin. These little tiny ones. I forgot the name of them. I have the name somewhere. But I'm gonna pull some of this aloe. This prolific AF aloe that you sent me. I'm gonna pull this piece and I'm putting it in here. Let's see if I can do that cleanly. So I'm going to put pop this in here. And this will still be a fully Erin pot. These are all things, all things Erin. <laughs> I found this little owl, um, owl. I'll throw in there. I'm just gonna put a little more soil. Like that. Should not have put my hands on that like that. Not good. Thing. All right, and that's my new Erin pot. I'm gonna zoom in here. I have quite a mess here right now. Just want to move things around so that they have room to grow. I don't think I'm gonna put any um any top dressing. I don't even think it needs it. What do you think? I don't know. I think everything is going to grow in there so quickly that I don't even need top dressing. So, let me just put a little turf just because. You know, I say I'm not going to do something and then I go ahead and do it. Just can't figure myself out. <laughs> I really need my little, my little shovel. Mia, get out of here. I love these so much, Erin. Thank you so much. I really wish she would start a channel. Post some videos because she's so knowledgeable, smart know so much about plants and has some beauties. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Let me move this around here like so. I like to show the little sprinkling portion. And I think I want to water this a little bit. In these, in, you know, the areas that have already roots. So I will be right back. It's my little water bottle to um, spot water. 
where I want to. I won't order where um where I just um the aloe that I just cut up. But I will water here. Difficult to see what I'm doing. All right, so here's the pot. I really love everything, Erin. They're so beautiful. Thank you so much. I think they're going to do really well. This was the one that I popped out from the other arrangement and I put it in there. I really, really love it. You know what? I feel like I did this backwards. Okay, so I'm super ridiculous and I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I rearranged the whole thing. Um, when I was looking at it, I'm like, wait a minute. Um, this is backwards. The smaller stuff should be in the front. The larger stuff in the back. And I lost my owl. Um, so I rearranged everything and I'm like, yeah, that makes more sense. But I was not recording. <laughs> so I'm super sorry about that. But I had to rearrange it. It just didn't make sense to me after I looked at it. it it's hard to... Um, I don't even think the owl has this place now. So it's super difficult to record from above and see what you're doing. But I think this makes much more sense to have the bigger things in the back, taller pieces, and then the smaller ones um, towards the front, which is how I typically always do my, my arrangements. So I don't know what I was thinking, I don't know what I was doing, um, but this makes much more sense to me, and I like it much more now. The only thing I don't like is that I, I can't put the owl in it, and I, I love the owl, but I don't need the owl in it. I mean, I can move this aloe that I took from here put it back in there and then I can place the aloe in here because then that gives you know the guys more room to grow so what about that yay nay <laughs> I'm so ridiculous yeah I think I like it I think I like it a lot disregard the mess over here um and then um this was the previous arrangement with the things that um, Aaron had sent me. I, I want to cut this one because it's gotten super long. Well, she gave it to me long, but I want to cut it because I love it so much. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Like, I could put like a whole pot of those. They're so beautiful. And I love these guys. I want a whole pot of these also. They're so pretty. Um, and this guy has stayed colored beautiful I love this little mini baby tiny little broccolis it's so like look at these guys they're like tiny little rosettes perfect little rosettes like a million of them those are so beautiful I love them so much Aaron I love everything you sent me like you're when are you gonna start your channel that's all I need to know but this is the the latest arrangement I think everything's gonna grow in really beautifully um I love everything um I am getting your stuff ready to ship out hopefully by Thursday um, I, I'll be able to send it out either, either Thursday or Friday but um, I have one more thing I did want to share with you guys hold on the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is something that Willa Johnson one of my subscribers sent to me she's super sweet she um, is always I mean, oh my lord that's heavy she always has the most wonderful comments and suggestions and helpful um, tips. So Willa, thank you so much, not just for this, but for your support. You are like, you know, really amazing. And I love to hear and your comments and all of your feedback because it's super duper awesome. <laughs> you know you rock. So I'm gonna open this. I, I suspect I know what it is just because I made a comment about something and 
that I thought was super useful on someone else's channel. And this thing, I am so excited about this because I have these uh, sausage fingers. Uh, I call it Rick and Ralph fingers <laughs> or Shrek fingers. They, so whenever I try to get my um, get the leaves, this one's super big and it's wow. <laughs> it's like it is like heavy. So this is a little tweezers to get like leaves and stuff out of your um, plants. This one is like super long. That's so helpful. Like, I feel like I don't even have to bend down to get into some places. So, I it's kind of dark now for me to be able to use it. But I'm definitely going to put this to good use. Willa, thank you so much. You guys, like, always surprise me and, like, just fill my heart with such, you know, hope, love, and, and just happiness. Like, that you, you, not that you buy me stuff, but that just your comments, your kind comments, your responses your help like i really 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 appreciate it like i never imagined that i would have the response that i've had with you guys and i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart it really gives me just you know such hope for humanity just like the plant community is so awesome you guys just are never endingly kind and conscientious towards each other like i really appreciate that it just shows me a different side of um just life in general so thank you so much <laughs> I sound like a gibbering fool but um, I'm really gonna put this to use it's super huge so hopefully I will not misplace it and lose it because I lose things like crazy and it drives me nuts like I'm always looking for my little tool sets and I don't I don't know what to do where I put them because I'm working inside outside everywhere uh, but I'm gonna cherish this this is such a kind awesome and thoughtful gift <laughs> um, I really appreciate it I'm gonna have to make like a little basket, like a little hanging like basket so I can always keep my tools in one spot so I'm always losing them because I am always losing them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Erin, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, trying to get your stuff together. I was trying to find a specific plant for you but I haven't been able to get it. But I'm still searching. But thanks guys for watching. I truly appreciate you. Have an amazing holiday. Memorial Day. <laughs> Bye. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place. One succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye.